of his words just move his butter. You know, so he knows the right thing to say, you know, or the right time to say it. You know, and he knows when to shut the hell up, too. You know, there was a documentary called White People on MTV. And basically, in the documentary, they were like, uh, they, they were basically, you know, they felt uncomfortable because they were dealing with a lot of taboo questions that they, you know, pretty much only discussed amongst themselves. And, you know, the little uh, Asian Asian dude was asking them questions and they really didn't want to talk to him about him. Like, uh, how do you feel about this? You know, but but Esau don't have, you know, no remorse, you know, anything for, you know, uh, Jake at all. Hey, uh, I got a precept. This is 2nd Maccabees uh, 6 and 1. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from, from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of the Most High. You know, because when, when you're dealing with the so-called white man, especially around this time, like King Antiochus, he was, he was, he was wise. Hey, the book of Daniel says that he, that he will uh, understand dark sayings. You know? So, so basically, he, under, he, he knew about the law of the Israelites. So the law of the, Isra the Israelites, what does it say? It says uh, to, to reverence the hoary head. So he sent the old, uh, old man from Athens thinking that he would catch the Israelites up, that they would respect this man and that, that they would follow him uh, and, uh, and, uh, to, allow, to allow them to basically to turn away from their laws, statutes and commandments. So the so-called white man, he's 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 a uh, deceitful and he's cunning, man. And I bet you this this old old cracker, you know, he came he came uh, speaking speaking real fair, trying to deceive the Israelites to turn away from their, their the, the holy commandments given unto them. Hey, when they came over here to you know uh, the new world, you know over here uh, Azura, you know they didn't come down, you know saying you know oh look at those Native Americans, let's shoot them down and kill them. You know they came. You know, smooth, like, hey man, what's going on? Like, can you show me how to, uh, how y'all survive the winter? You know, how y'all do that? You know, that's how they came. They ain't come down, you know, just, you know, just immediately just giving these small pox and, you know, gunning them down and stuff like that. They trade, did, you know, commerce with them and stuff like that. You know, so that's how Esau gets down. You know, so you can't be confused to think that, you know, just because, you know, a white person gives you this or he gives you that, you know, that, that y'all cool, you know, because he wants you to, uh, uh, go against your laws. Even if, even if you make a covenant, let's say you want to join the NBA or something like that, there's certain stuff that you can't do. You know, you got to stand for the national anthem. That's not like the NFL where you can, you know, take a knee. You got to stand for it. There's so much stuff that you got to, you know, you got to, you know, basically, you know, come together and, you know, basically you can't stand against, you know, social injustices. You know, you basically got to shut up, you know, or you can only protest so fucking much. And, you know, all the NBA really is, that's, that's basically just a, another form of slavery. You know, just house niggas. You know, you just get uh, slavery, you know, with, with added resources and uh, benefits. You know, like, even like the draft, that's basically like your slave auction. How they put the slaves on the slave <laughs> auction block, <laughs> and then you be like, oh, 125, five going, you know, and then, you know, they get sold. And they pay top dollar for the buck. Right. For the buck. <laughs> top, right, top dollar. And what? The, the, the first round, first draft pick, he's always get paid the most. Vanilla Brown. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wasn't that you that sent the article? The, uh, of the Edomite uh, from Australia that wanted to pay LeBron James and Serena yeah, Williams. So. Oh, yeah, 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 No, that's a, a Russian. Yeah. A Russian? Uh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, I think that's it was a Russian. Yeah. Hey, I got a precept, because you mentioned uh, how Esau dealt with Gat, right? This is Psalms 55 and 21. Uh, well, actually, I'll start at 20. It says, He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He have broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Right, so it, 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 normally you look at a man, you can actually look at a man in his eye, you know, shake his hand, and you know, you know, in, in today's age, or well not today, but there was a time where you guys look at a man in the eye, you know, see this guy is sincere. And you know, and Esau knows that, which is why he takes advantage of that. So he why he tries to seem so sincere. You now you look who the best, you know, uh, scam artist. You know, uh, you know, like you know, like far as like car sales and stuff like that. You know, you got to supplant people. A lot of times, those are Edomites. You know, Edomites are are really good. You know, you you uh, 
what's you got uh, uh, some some of the uh you like let's say you're gonna wipe out your credit you call this number it's a complete fucking scam or you know if, if you got uh, uh you want this loan and uh just pay you know four hundred dollars and we'll get or you know uh what's that uh i want uh, it's my money i need it now or whatever uh <laughs> shit that is I you know it right <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's, it's just a uh, complicated yeah. uh college is a fucking scam you know that's set up by you know so-called white man you know it's only like a few degrees that really mean shit you know, because most of those degrees, like general studies, you know, Jake could go there and, you know, he'd be in college just because, you know, if he's not in college and his parents, you know, be like, oh, why are you ain't in college? You can't stay here no more. So you just joined college just to, because it's some shit to do. And hoes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Bitches, hoes, and money. You can testify. <laughs> yeah, refund check. Yeah, yeah, refund check. Oh, Jake yeah. famous for that. They go to school yeah. just for the refund check. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got some, right? I got some uh, on those on those. Uh, you mentioned the basketball chairs, right? And the, the only reason why, because because even in college, you got so-called ba basketball players, and, and they'll send out recruiters, and, and the recruiters would talk to to if the guy got talent, they'll talk to him real good, you know. They'll they'll offer him different kind of gifts, you know. They'll offer him different kind of briberies. You know, to get them to come and join their college and to pay pay for their team, and you know, the, in actuality, they, they really don't give two shits about them. Cause let's say, for instance, the the, the guy um, injured himself to where he can't play anymore. They, they 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 don't take care of him, you know. So basically, they're just using him because they think that he's to their profit. So this is us, uh, uh, Sarat, thirteen, and uh and uh four. It says, if thou be for his profit. He will use thee, but if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. And that's the way that the so-called white man feels feels about you, Jakes, man. Especially you ones that are that are uh, basketball players, actors, you know, because you're you're lining you're lining in their pockets. But once you have no use, they they have no 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 they have no longer any need for you. It's Exodus chapter twenty-three, uh, verse. 32 it says thou shalt make no covenant with them nor with their gods um, that's pretty much what the brother's talking about you're making a covenant with them if you if you make a covenant with the heathen you're not going to be able to uh, be your own man you got to go by their rules meaning you under their rule you know what i'm saying so if you if you do enroll or or get get in the draft or whatnot you get all of those, uh, the gift to destroy the heart. You get all those, those, those hurts, but you can't be a real man. You can't be your own man. You think with your own mind, you gotta line up with, with the majority, you know? Hey, I, I don't wanna be long-winded, but uh, in, in Rome, which which America is the second leg of the Roman Empire, you had something called infa, infamia. Now, infamia was a, was a uh, any anybody that was a that was an entertainer, whether you was a singer, whether you was an actor, whether you was an actress, you know, if you were into entertainment, if you were a gladiator, you know, you were you were you were in something called infamia. Now, infamia isn't nothing but but a, a, a slavery. You were you were you were looked at as a slave, but you were just a slave that could socialize amongst the people that were in the top top ranks of Rome. <laughs> That, that ain't nothing but, but how these these uh, entertainers, actors, and sports players are here in America. You know, so let's say for instance, one of those top uh, uh, one of those top uh, elite Romans wanted to, if you were a male, a male, and, and a top elite Roman wanted to deal with you, he can say, hey, send send him to, to my house. That's a, that's the same way that that you you are here in America. You know, so so <laughs> what, what you just said about the about the covenant when you when you sign contracts with the so-called white man, you you basically you're taking an infamy. You can't be yourself. You're just a slave that's that's able to socialize amongst the people in the top ranks. Hey, and also when you sign those contracts, let's say you like somebody like LeBron or Kobe. You might have four more, six, seven more contracts, like with Nike. You might have a contract with uh, Under Armour. You might have a contract with uh, ESPN on the side. And they all got their own stuff you want to do. If you wear a Nike, we, you bet, we better not catch you wearing no damn Reebok. Or no, we gonna take that shit. Uh, he got accused of, of uh, raping a white bitch in uh, Eagle County, Colorado. Just the accusation alone 
They were like, no, we we, we, we taking that shit away. Right, Adidas, all that. And then, and then he had to come back, you know, uh, cry, you know, right. beg his wife and all that type of stuff. And then, uh, you know, uh, afterwards everything was cool. So he had to do something again, you know, to get that back. It, it wasn't just like, oh, you know, uh, uh, you know, you were innocent since you ain't go to jail for it. You know, he had to do something for that back. And, and that's the reason why the scriptures say, never trust your enemy. You know, for as iron, iron rusted for weight, so does he. Matter of fact, uh, let, let me let me get that. That's what I'm on has. That's that's what you got. Go ahead and read it. Start from uh, 10, 12 and 10. And 12 read 10. down to 13. This is uh Book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble so himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou as like a looking glass. Right, so I, iron is guaranteed to rust. You know, that, that's no question, you know. It's just a matter of time. You know, it's, it's not how or, you know, if. It's, it's a matter of when it's going to rust. And you know, and, and can you read that apart again where it says, uh, about it humbling? Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou has wiped a looking glass. Right, so just because he humbles himself, don't go and say, you know what, this is a man that really repented. You know, because, you know, Esau, he knows how to, you know, act like he's humble. You know, he knows, like, you got, you got, uh, old, old dude down in Sterling, he, uh, gave a half ass sorry apology. You know, you know, I bet it burned his soul to do that. But uh, he, he gave so, a, a so-called apology, you know, so he knows the humble thing to say is, you know, but you can't even trust that. Hey, that goes back into political correctness. You know, he do it just to save face. Because he, he know that a lot of the fans that come to to his arena are chase. So he, he said just enough to, 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 to keep them fans coming in. But in all actuality, he really doesn't give two shits about you. Uh, and thou shalt know that he rust, his rust have not been all together wiped away. Right, so it's still going to be on him. Go ahead, get that in Maccabees. <laughs> this is Maccabees, 1 Maccabees chapter 8, verse 1. Now Judas had heard of the fame of the Romans. Right, Judas, uh, uh, Israelite, go ahead. That they were mighty and valid men. And such as would lovingly accept all that joined themselves unto them. All right, this is this is Rome all over again. This is uh, America, Babylon. This is Rome all over again. You know, so America does the same thing. Except anybody that wants to join, you want to be part of the military. You can be a tranny. You know, you can be a woman. You know, you can be a, a half ape, half gorilla. You know, anything. You know, you you can just come and just join us. Matter, matter of fact, you could be fighting Japan, and you can they allow Japanese in their fucking army. Uh, in a uh, testimony to that, when they were fighting in Iraq, you know, they allowed a, a, a lot of uh, those Iraqis to come here to, to Dearborn, man. You nine That's knowing right. how to drive ass towel heads, man. <laughs> <laughs> they, they allowed them to come, they allowed a lot of them to seek refuge here, you know. Those, those uh, quote, quote unquote Christians, so called Christians, which, which were getting. Uh, uh, killed over in their country, basically because because they were uh, they they exercised their belief in Christianity, you know. So so the Muslims in their country was was pretty much killing them. They allowed them to seek refuge here. And and you and you and you're fighting against their family and, and people over in their country, but you allow them to come here, man. Hey, put it like this, you know, in, back in, in, in uh, back when we had the kingdom. You like a, a person can't just come in, you know, we, we might think they're a spy. You know, you gotta, you know, you gotta know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody before, you know, you just come, you know, you don't like nobody knows you, you just coming in, you know, brothers thinking like you might be trying to spy out the land. So how much less you actually join league with the army and you're supposed to be fighting against your own people, you know, you, you like at, let's say let's say you do find like a house nigga Uncle Tom that's willing to fight against his own people. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, you gotta be thinking like, man, this this dude could be a spy. 
You know, so you can't, you know, you're not supposed to just allow just anybody in your army like that. Can't even trust Jake. And such as will lovingly accept all that join themselves unto them and make a lead of enmity with all that came unto them, and that they were men of great valor. It was told him also of wait, did you want me to go? Uh yeah. It uh in uh I'm gonna it, tell you to skip, but I'm gonna find out where to skip to keep going from that. It was told him also of their wars and noble acts which they had done among the, the Galatians. Skip to verse 6. Verse 6. How also Antiochus, the great king of Asia, uh, is, that came against them in battle, having 120 elephants with horsemen, chariots, and a very great army, was discomforted by them. And how they took him alive and uh, Uh, come, 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 in the country of India, in media, in media, and of the goodliest countries, which they took of him and gave to King. Moreover, how the Grecians had determined to come and destroy them. Right, so now Judas, he had already destroyed, you know, armies with the power 